Important. When updating to a newer build or reverting back to an older build of OpenELEC, always make sure you've disabled any overclocking. Updating with overclocking enabled can easily cause corruption and you could find yourself with a completely broken SD card that has to be binned. In this example we're going to use the Raspberry Pi config add-on to disable overclocking. So we're going to open Total Installer and we're just going to do a manual search for the RPI config and that should bring up the Raspberry Pi config add-on by Leonardo and there it is so we're just going to install that quickly um, obviously you could uh, disable overclocking manually by um, opening up your config.txt file on the SD card but um, if you can't be bothered to do that just uh, just use this method here so once that's installed um, you're going to need to reboot Once rebooted, head back over to your program section and go to your um, Raspberry Pi config add-on and make sure that it's disabled overclock. So the preset is disabled and you're going to find that um, that now reboots. So that's just going to take a few seconds to go to the reboot process and, um, and you'll find that it boots back up with overclock disabled. Now that we've rebooted again, we're just going to double check that the uh, CPU speed is at 700. Um, so as you can see there in system info, CPU speed, we've got 700 megahertz. So that means it's the default settings. If it was on turbo still, that would be at 1000. So um, if we go to open elect settings now, we just need to go down to the update section and check for updates now. Um, would you like to update? Yes. So that will now um, download the uh, relevant files. And once it's downloaded and extracted all these files, it's going to go through another reboot process. So I'm just going to cut the video there and come back to the reboot process because this does take a couple of minutes. Once the Pi has gone into the reboot mode, um, it should boot back up and you should be able to see a screen similar to this one here where a lot of um, little command line uh, messages pop up on the top left of the screen and that may well end up filling up the whole screen so that shouldn't really take much more than about a minute and uh, once it's done you'll find it uh, it boots up into XBMC there we go and yep there we go so it's all nicely loaded up so we just want to uh, double check that we are running the um, the updated version because we we came from version uh, 4.0.3 and hopefully we should now be on 4.0.7 so I go to open a lec and there's an about section at the bottom and there you can see it says there quite clearly 4.0.7 and um, so that's it we're done and um, I'm just going to turn my overclocking back onto turbo. So uh, if if you want your overclocking back, just go back to that add-on, change it to whatever you want, and um, click OK, and it'll go through the reboot process once more. And when it boots up, you'll find you've got the new OpenELEC safely on there with no corruption, and um, and you've got your overclock settings back. So that's how to safely update OpenELEC on a Raspberry Pi.